everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sketch for a Year. If you're new here, I'm Christine and I'm an artist. I realized that the only way I'm going to feel confident about working with different art mediums and making art is to practice. So before I get into this week's sketch, I'm going to catch you up on all the stuff that I've been practicing and learning over the past week in my sketchbook. But before we do that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm challenging myself to fill the pages of my sketchbook every week for a year, so I would love if you stick around. Now y'all know I have been struggling with colored pencils. Colored pencils require a light touch and many layers, so you need a lot of patience to get enough pigment down on paper before you even begin blending. Color pencils are their own beast entirely and require their own technique. The next bit of advice was an absolute game changer for me, and I'm laughing at myself at how silly and simple but absolutely enlightening this tip was. Color pencils need to be very sharp, sharper than they are right out of the box. Having a sharp pencil allows the pigment to get down into the grooves of the paper much easier. It turns out you can get a really smooth and seamless blend from color pencils if you only have the patience it takes to get there. For reference, this first flower here took about an hour to draw, while this one took five minutes. I definitely prefer the five minute sketch, but I'm not sure if it's truly because it looks better, simply because it was easier and a lot more fun. Next, I I tried loosening up my artwork by drawing the flower multiple times using different mediums and colors for each. This is the sort of thing that can feel impossible when you're trying to be perfect. I don't think this page is any good, but it did allow me to try different techniques without the pressure. In the end, I liked the way this flower looked at the bottom. It's a mix of marker, color pencil, and wax pastel. Using that flower as inspiration, I spent the next page experimenting with the same combination of mediums with a variety of backgrounds. This red background is almost entirely in colored pencil. The green is a mix of colored pencil and wax pastel. I felt like I was reaching a breakthrough moment here. The colored pencil and wax pastel combo had a really nice texture to it and I think this is what I was going for in week two when I made this disaster. In this last page, I combined all of the good tidbits I had gained from the previous sketches and attempted to make a pattern. I left feeling like I was close to a eureka moment but not quite there. There's more experimenting I want to do, but before I can do that, I've got to do something else first. I have a set of gouache I've neglected, so much so that it's absolutely dried to bits. I really loved this set when it was still jelly. Then, of course, YouTube came through with a tutorial on how to fix it. Just some water overnight and some stirring will do the trick. Keeping my art supplies at the ready has been key to feeling loose and playful. It does take quite a bit of motivation to prep your art supplies and put something on paper. When my workspace is a mess, I find ways to avoid it completely. My art suffers and my tools show the signs of neglect. Reviving these paints has been on my list for so long and it felt good to bring them back to life. So this is where we are after one day and I think they turned out pretty good. I'm gonna let it sit for another day cause I can tell there are some colors that just had some bigger pieces that still need to sit in the water for a little bit. So I'm gonna spray this with some water, cover it up and check on it tomorrow.
My second try sparked a lot of insight. There was a moment where I should have stopped the abstract and real and perfect balance, but I pushed it a bit too far in the direction of realism. So I'm about to start take number three with this sketch and I'm honestly ready to move on. I feel like the theme of this video and in general with this project is practice, 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 practice. There are still things that I feel like I need to try before I close the door on this painting. When you spend a, well, when I spend a lot of time on an artwork, there's a temptation to perfect it. I'm gonna give myself a time limit. I'm only gonna allow myself to make this piece for 15 minutes and wherever I end up is where we end up. We're gonna call it and we're gonna turn the page and we're gonna do something else. I hope it doesn't come off like I don't enjoy this project. I think what you're seeing are growing pains. Doing things differently will always be a challenge, and like with all things and time, the challenge will get easier. What feels like frustration now will turn into clarity someday. Something I feel lukewarm about today may spark the inspiration for my next masterpiece. I think I get so caught up in the perfect, the edited, the curated, but there's value in being vulnerable. Perhaps you two are struggling with something in your life. You're realizing your old habits won't take you to where you inevitably want to go. Changing our behavior is a slow and steady marathon. It can only be done one step at a time. So no matter how slow you go, go forward. See you next week.